हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ अप्लाइड जोलॉजी टुडे वी आर डूइंग स्टडी ऑफ इंसेक्ट पेस्ट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू देर मार्क ऑफ आइडेंटिफिकेशन नेचर ऑफ डैमेज इकोनॉमिक इंपॉर्टेंस एंड कंट्रोल मेजर इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न जोआर स्टेम बोरर रेड कॉटन बर्ग ब्रिंजल फ्रूट बोरर and mango stem borer as important insect pest so let us begin with jowar stem borer sorghum which is called as jowar is one of the important crop in india belonging to grass family poisson it is widely cultivated throughout the different regions of the world as cereal crop for human consumption and in pasture for animals it is mostly infested by harmful pest commonly known as jowar stem borer or spotted stem borer kylopatellus which is also called as kylozonellus the other host plants are besides sorghum this insect are also been recorded on maize bajra sugarcane barugas that is sorghum shakar sarkanda etc what are the identification of jowar stem borer how you are going to identify different stages of this insect the first stage is which we can identify is caterpillar the grown up caterpillars are about 20 to 25 mm long and dirty grayish white in color with black sclerotized head and four brownish longitudinal strips on the back how we can identify adult the adult moth is small with a round 25 mm that is 2.5 cm wing span the four wings are brown yellowish with darker scale pattern forming longitudinal stripes the hind wings are pale straw colored in male whereas white or peppery in female how this insect cause damage to the crop only larval stages acts as a pest causing a great damage in the plant the young larvae first feed on leaves making few short holes and then bore their way downwards through the central roll as it opens this reduces the photosynthetic activity of the plant more short holes become visible indicating an earlier attack subsequent larvae are internal feeders feeding on internal tissue resulting in the formation of tunnels or galleries which ultimately leads to formation of dead hearts without showing any external signs thus stem borer infestation results in short hole or pinhole damage in the leaves initially and dead hearts subsequently so what is economic importance economically this insect is very important under severe infestation this pest can cause potential damage of about 80% crop reducing productivity and causing loss to the farmers so these are the figures showing damage caused by the stem borer in the early stage of hatching larvae feed on uh, the surface of the leaf shape leaf rolls causing pin holes on the rolls and newly opened leaves as the severity increases blend of feeding punctures and scratches appear on the leaves the larvae bores into the midrib and the shoot feeding on internal tissues and cause typical dead heart formation killing young plants so this is the dead heart formation how we can control jowar stem borer so first are cultural control measure removal and destruction of the dead heart burning of subtle 
stubbles and thrash which becomes source of next infestation plowing and destroying crop residues removal of infested plant parts or infested plants through hoeing are recommended collection and destruction of adult moth using light or pheromone traps and caterpillars by hand picking collection of their eggs for the destruction purpose intercropping has a great potential in reducing the infestation growing jowar in association with legumes significantly reduce damage by thylopartellus also intercropping jowar with soybean give a considerable reduction in pest and 9.2% increase in grain weight per plant cultivation of pest resistant varieties of jowar that has reduced the chances of economic loss caused by thylopartellus few such varieties are chs7 chs8 indian sorghum types 5 to 85 double 5 double 6 and 5613 etc what are the biological control methods introduction of trichogramma as an egg parasite and uh, apentelus brecon as a larval parasite and carabid coccinella larvae as predators feeding on early stages of larvae a parasite wasps xanthopimplum and cortesia have shown good result against the chylopartellus infestation habitat management practices uh, that conserve this parasitoids and predators like ants earwigs can also help in the control of spotted stem borer what are the chemical control methods the 4% granules of endosulfan 0.2% carbaryl spray 2 to 3 times at 10 days interval is effective in early infestation dusting with 15% bhc powder directly on leaves at 25 to 40 kg per hectare is also effective neem based products are reportedly effective and may be applied to the leaf roll in 1 is to 1 mixture with dry clay or sawdust so this is all about jowar stem borers control measure next important insect pest is red cotton bug the scientific name of red cotton bug is dystercus cingulatus cotton is the commercial crop and the backbone of the textile industry it provides employment to the majority of the population directly or indirectly and also the important source of foreign exchange the red cotton bug dystercus cingulatus is an important pest of cotton crop other than this cotton crop that is beside cotton they also feed on several other crops from family malvisi such as hollyhock hemp etc this dystercus cingulatus infest other plants having succulent juicy and oily seeds the cotton okra kapok jute plants are mostly affected by this bug what are the identification marks the adult insect the adult bugs are elongated slender insects 12 to 15 mm in length they are crimson bright red colored with white bands across the abdomen the membranous portion of their fore wings antenna eyes and scutellum are black fore wings are with a characteristic black spots and has modified into hemi elytra having basal half sclerotized and apical half membranous what are the identification in case of nymph the nymphs are smaller wingless and look like miniature of adult they are also red colored with black median dorsal spots on intertergal membrane of third and fourth fourth and fifth and fifth and sixth on abdominal segment they have white bands from dorsal and ventral side on their abdomen demarcating abdominal segments both adult and nymph are provided with piercing sucking mouth parts 
these are the main identification marks of red cotton bug how red cotton bug causes damage nymph and adults suck the plant sap from the leaves and green balls of cotton affected balls open badly with their lids stained with the excreta or body juices the adult found in the cotton are crushed in the ginning factories the staining the lint and lowering its market value adversely it affects the quality of ginning and oil content of the seed it facilitates secondary infection due to bacteria into balls causing rotting of entire contents of the ball followed by discoloration of the lint to yellow or brown thus economically this insect is very important the stained and discolored lint has low market value which causes economic loss to the farmers what are the main control measures the cultural control measures are plowing the cotton field so as to destroy eggs by exposing them to sunlight the nymph and adult can be hand picked and killed physically using kerosenized water near or at some interval within the cotton fields other host plants such as lady's finger should be sown as trap crop to collect and destroy the bugs intercropping with gram soybeans castor sorghum etc reduces the pest infestation moistened seeds of cotton can be used in the cotton field to attract bugs to later kill in kerosenized water biological control methods are the predaceous bug like antilocus and herpactor are effective predators that feed on nymphs and adult application of nuclear polyhydrosis virus that is npv in the evening hours at 7th and 12th week after sowing egg parasitoid such as trichogramma species and uh, kelomus are also effective chemical control methods are use of proper insecticides which are comparatively safer to natural enemies such as endosulfan fosilon etc should be used spraying of malathion 0.05% is effective to eradicate this bugs so this is all for part 1 see you for the part second of this chapter thank you